Thanks for joining me for Pacific Northwest News and Entertainment. I'm by Teresa Wisner, who is a author, and she's done many amazing things and is well known in our community and has a new book, Daughter of Neptune. So we're going to be talking a little bit about her book and all the great things that she's accomplished and done. So, Teresa, I know you. <laughs> Let's let our audience get to know you. Thank you. I'm just so pleased that you've had me here today, Kira. It's great to see you and, and to just chat with you. It's nice. It's fun. So, let's see. I moved to Lincoln County in 1977, and um, those were the heydays of commercial fishing here and up in Dutch Harbor. Um, when I moved here... Um, uh, I had a big family, um, moved to a place overlooking the bay. We could see down to the boats on the ocean, um, mm -hmm. on the, I'm sorry, on the piers there. And, um, and it was always a really big inspiration to me to, to, to have that. My brothers all went into commercial fishing. Um, my dad was a, a sport fisherman who traveled the world, world sport mm -hmm. fishing. And, um, and so I really felt like it was my place to go ahead and do what my brothers did because my dad was so impressed with what they did he talked about it all the time you know so I thought I'm gonna do that you know and my dad's gonna my dad's gonna approve you know so I started working on um, salmon and tuna trawlers on the Valhalla 2 down out of here for Phil Peterson and um, and I you know I kind of went in and out of fishing for a lot of years and um, made it up to Dutch Harbor and a couple of the uh, like the joint venture with the Russians I worked that and then I worked the um, a long line for black cod and um, then I went to the factory trawlers up there the big boats and so I decided that um, I needed to go into um, the, the more professional aspect of it then become a merchant mariner mm. and so I became a merchant mariner um, and worked on and some... For, go ahead. Sorry to interrupt. No, for those who don't know, can you explain what a merchant mariner is? So a merchant mariner really is somebody who has the training um, and, um, you know, training, you know, we get tested for our health or our physical ability to, to work on a boat. And um, it comes from the Department of Homeland Security now, uh, used to be the Coast Guard, which is now under Homeland Security. But... Um, so we take tests and, and do those sorts of things, and they give us a certificate, which means that we can work on inspected vessels. So inspected vessels have um, some very specific things that they need to have on board the boat and training that they need to have. So that's really what it means. Um, merchant mariners also, in um, like if a war comes up, um, we're able to uh, do the supply ships. So they mm -hmm. call on us to be mm -hmm. supply ship people. Yeah. Yeah. So you've done lots of work uh, both on and off of boats. Mm -hmm. And you're also uh, an accomplished writer and have been involved with writing for a long time as well. Can you give us some background on what you've done with your writing? Sure. Um, I started writing. I, I could hold a pen when I started keeping, you know, journals and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, I, I was probably maybe around 11 when, like, there was this idea in my head that I, I needed to be a writer, you know. But like everybody, our lives kind of go a different way for a while. And, um, and then um, oftentimes, if we're really fortunate, we can come back to what our love is. And, um, you know, although I, I love going to sea, I love the boats I work on, I love the people I work with, my love is in, in writing. So... Um, so I've worked with Willamette Writers here. I was the chair of the Coast uh, Branch, co-chair of the Coast Branch here for, for a while, um, and other writing organizations and, and groups. Um, started writing Daughter of Neptune, um, I think it was in 2012, uh -huh. and um, worked on it for about six years, four to six years. Um, and then um, I let it go, just kind of let it simmer for a while. And then I finally decided it's time, you know, and so, and so here it is. And tell us a little bit about this book. It's about you? It is about me. Um, it's about, um, you know, it's about a young woman growing up in a, in a male-dominated environment. Um, you know, problems with my family, with my dad, um, you know, trying to please him and never really feeling like I quite matched up to what his idea um, was of what I should be. 
um, and um, you know some struggles with alcoholism and addiction and um, how I got through that um, and then sea story you know it's a sea story so uh, people tell me that I can really really write about the sea that they feel like they're on the ocean and, and all of that when when they read my work and so that's really gratifying to me to that ability of writers to um, to create a place where people can escape to. Well, that's one of the things that I've really enjoyed about reading your book is that I feel like I'm there. Mm. Uh, it's descriptive enough that I feel like I'm part of the experience and I can really associate with what you're saying. And even though it may not be something that I've done, you create the feeling and the emotions so that it, it puts you there. Thank, Thank you. you. So give us some teasers about some of the things that you like best about the book. Wow. Um, the, 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 the book opens on Montauk Point out, uh, off of Long Island, shark fishing. And um, the person that we used to shark fish with was Captain Frank Mundus. Now, Captain Frank Mundus um, is the man that uh, the Captain in Jaws was modeled after. Mm -hmm. And so, so as a kid, I used to go fishing with that guy, you know. Quite he a was, personality. Oh, he was, a, he was an incredibly <laughs> big person, you know. He was bigger than my father, and that was not possible, you know. <laughs> so, uh, so, so that is the opening scene, and, it, and it's catching a shark. And, and it's, it's brutal. You know, it's gruesome, and it's some of the stuff in that you're not allowed to do anymore. <laughs> this was back in the 70s, so that was actually in the late 60s. Um, and you learned an important lesson that day. I, I About <laughs> following directions. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, Kira, that's so interesting, because, because when looking back at my, you know, my age and all that, it, it, the lesson wasn't about... Um, not following directions, the, the lesson became about um, how I got attention. And so, um, so you know, we all get different things from, from our experiences. And, and um, I, I mean, throughout the book, you'll see that, that I became a troublemaker. And, um, you know, it got me lots of attention over the years. Um, you know, some people really um, like Chapter 10. And um, it, it's a pretty graphic alcoholic scene um it's a very angry scene where um where i was going to commit suicide and um so um but in many ways it's hysterical you know and and um so um you know going through jc market or down in that area of town and hitting another car on purpose is basically what happened and the police pulling me over later and our interaction there how how that went um i did not end up in jail which is a shock, but um, <laughs> it was probably not the only time I should have ended up in jail and didn't. <laughs> One of the beauties of living in a small town and having a little bit of understanding. Mm -hmm. uh, so it just creates such a good picture. And it's something, do you think, people can relate to? Um, I think a lot of people can relate to that if, um, well, I, I think most people I mean, probably In general, can. in your book, yeah. there's sections that people a lot can relate to? I think so. I hope so. I mean, that's sort of the point of telling a story is to, is to draw people in and, and have some commonality and be able to um, talk about similar experiences. Yeah. What was your favorite part about writing this book? Favorite part about writing it? Wow. Um, the, the, the learning about experience and, um, you know, w when you're doing something, your focus is on that thing. And so my focus became on memory um, and how different stories um, for, for me might be a little different than, say, my siblings' remembrances of the same exact instance. And what I learned um, was that memory is changeable. And that every time we think of something, the memory changes. Interesting. Yeah, and they're, they're doing some really fascinating research on memory. And so, you know, I always used to think, um, you know, that I was wrong in the memory. But we're all wrong in our memories. You know, they, they change as we change. And so I think that the, the one of the favorite things about writing the book was 
sort of seeing the changes in myself from being able to tell my own story in the way that I remembered my story. Um, so, so there was that, and, and the other thing was just finding this zone of writing that everything else is gone, and, and there's just the paper and me, or the computer in this instance, <laughs> um, and, um, and how that, I, I guess it's like a meditation almost, you know? Yeah. So where can people find Daughter of Neptune? It's out now. It is. It's just out today. <laughs> um, locally, uh, you can find it at um, Canyon Way. That so folks can see that. Thank you. It's got the little uh, proof across the, the <laughs> front of it. But the real book is out without that gray stripe across it. Um, Canyon Way is carrying it. And JC Market's going to carry it as soon as I drop some off this afternoon. The library has a copy in Newport, and in Solette's also has a copy. Um, and then you can buy it on Amazon. Wonderful. Yeah. Teresa, is there anything else that you want to add? Just that I'm just so grateful that I get to be here and, and talking about this with you. You know, it's, a, it's for me, it's one of the biggest accomplishments of my life, you know. And Teresa and I have known each other for a long time, and I am very happy to help to promote her wonderful book, Pick It Up, Daughter of Neptune by Teresa Wisner. And thanks for joining us on Pacific Northwest News and Entertainment.